Fun. And I'm at Alvarez. A new program in Clearfield County will soon be able to help children impacted by parental substance abuse uh, use disorder. Our Tristan Kleinfelter spoke with the local nonprofit spearheading the program and brings us the details. According to the National Association of Children of Addiction, one in four children in the United States is exposed to alcohol misuse or alcohol dependency in the family. An alarming statistic REST Incorporated is hoping to address locally by providing help to children through a new program. It was developed to help build resiliency and strength in children ages 6 through 18 who have been impacted by parental substance use or substance use disorder in the home. It will be available through the Clearfield Area School District as well as the Clearfield County Career and Technology Center. Jonathan says part of the program focuses on providing a safe and free environment where kids can express their feelings freely. They actually have in the curriculum the seven C's, which are very similar to what you might hear in 12-step programs where I didn't cause it, I can't change it, I can't cure it, but I can build my skills, I can learn about safety, I can do things for me to help me be the healthiest me I can be. One of the benefits of the program is that it will occur during school hours to make sure kids have transportation. Now, uh, knowing that it's an outgrowth of those kinship families, they already struggle with items like transportation, uh, before school, after school, what all is happening in their lives. So what we thought was pivotal was if we could provide time in school for this to occur. Both Bobby and Superintendent Struble would like to see the program expand in the future. And then I think obviously, like Bobby has said, this isn't limited to Clearfield. This is where we're starting, but you know, the same need is there for all of our districts across the area. Mm -hmm. So once this starts to grow, use it as a model to hopefully work into the other schools to help those students as well. These education support groups will officially begin in October, with school and community rollout beginning in September. In Dubois, Tristan Kleinfelder, WTAJ News. Thanks, Tristan. Center